Before we get started, we'd like to thank Fujifilm for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to learn more about VideoMaker's ethical stance on sponsorship, click the link in the description. By the end of this video, you'll have five new ways to improve your cinematography. Deliberate and steady camera movement is a cornerstone of good cinematography. It creates a more immersive and dynamic viewing experience. Outside of a tripod, there are many different camera supports that facilitate solid and professional camera movement. The first three you're most likely to see on set. They're dollies, cranes, and a sled and vest. For consumers, now there are affordable tools that give you similar camera movement. They are sliders, drones, and gimbals. Outside of camera support, in-camera stabilization is great for steadying your shot. Good cinematography will have a deliberate focal point in every shot. This is to elevate what is in focus and draw the eye to what is most important. It creates emphasis. A shallow depth of field indicates to the viewer what to look at and what not to look at. It lets the cinematographer direct the viewer's attention. Every frame rate option comes with a different feeling to the viewer. Shooting and playing back in 60 frames per second, the video looks smoother and feels closer to real life. 24 frames per second is what is common in film. It is known as the cinematic frame rate. This dreamlike feel helps the viewer suspend their disbelief and accept the story as presented to them. Frame rates also allow for cinematic slow motion. Dream sequences are a typical way to use cinematic slow-mo. Slow motion video is created through over-cranking. All this means is that you capture more frames than you need, allowing you to slow it down and still fit it into a cinematic frame rate. For example, recording at 60 frames per second and playing it back at 24 will allow for something that took one second of real time to film to play back at two and a half seconds. Why is color important? Well, the color in your image evokes a mood in your audience. With a high bit depth, you're able to have more color gradations between your colors, offering a truer representation of what's being captured. The bit depth you capture dictates the number of colors the sensor can capture. It's typical for most cameras to shoot 8-bit. However, 10-bit is becoming the new normal. Each step increase in bit depth is magnitudes bigger than the previous. For example, 8-bit equals 16.7 million colors, whereas 10-bit is 1.07 billion colors. Through the contrast of light and dark, we can communicate a mood, set the scene's tone, and create an emotion. Use dynamic range to add more depth in your composition and place important story information anywhere, not just where light is. Shooting in a log curve allows for more dynamic range. It's not suited for everything, but it's great for when major changes are needed during post-production. Good camera movement with a shallow depth of field and sharp focus allow our viewers to become engulfed in the story we're telling. By utilizing our frame rates, we can show time in a way that we can't experience outside of cinematography. And with high bit depth, color gradations, and dynamics, you have more control of your visuals, all while adding depth to your story. To learn more about Fujifilm, click the link in the description.